Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the Oxford Mondial 2.0 textile jacket. Oxford's Mondial Advanced jacket, the original one, became hugely popular for giving us laminated waterproof performance without the high price tag that swung from most laminated kit at the time. Now it's four years down the line and it's time for the Oxford Mondial 2.0 which shall for the rest of this video be known simply as the Mondial 2. There are some pretty noteworthy changes from the previous Mondial Advanced jacket, but the essence remains the same. A waterproof membrane laminated to the outer shell and a sub £300 launch price. I've spent around 300 miles wearing this jacket on a Suzuki V-Strom 800DE in conditions ranging from cool and wet through to hot and dry, so I can run through the essentials and give you an idea of what it's like to wear. The outer is made from polyester, Oxford don't quote a denier figure, but I would estimate it's around 500 to 600 denier for the bulk of the shell. There are substantial sections of tougher material that cover the shoulders and the collarbones and then run down as far as the forearms. The same material then covers the hips and around the jacket's hem to give it a bit more solid structure. Now, if you're not quite sure what it means for a jacket to have the waterproof membrane laminated to the outer shell, then it basically gives you more direct waterproofing performance. Traditional jackets have the waterproof membrane sitting loosely on the inside of the jacket where it can protect you from water that will inevitably leak through the outer. In a laminated jacket like this one, the membrane is bonded to the outer shell, so those two layers can work together to help you stay drier. The membrane on this is Oxford's own dry to dry material and that was highly rated in the previous jacket. From 228 customer reviews, it scored an average of 4.8 out of 5. And when you filter those reviews down to everyone who mentioned the word water, then those 63 reviews that are remaining still give an average of 4.8. So there's every reason to be confident that this will perform as well. It fastens with a chunky zip and there are two storm flaps to seal out rain. There's a gutted one straight over the zip and then a flat one over the top here. The collar fastens with a press stud onto an adjustable plate that's got five options to give you a choice over how tight it is around the neck. There's a neoprene insert to give flexibility on the throat and then a hook and loop that means you can pull the collar open completely and hold it back if you prefer. Now the cuffs on this jacket, they suit impatient riders as they're just simple Velcro straps. There's enough room for a full gauntlet glove to go inside, which is my preference, or you can get the jacket tight enough for a glove to go over the top if that's the way you prefer to ride. For ventilation, you get inlets at the biceps and the chest, plus an outlet at the back of the jacket. The fact the membrane is laminated to the outer means it will separate when you open the vents, leaving a more direct route for air to flow in. These torso vents are pretty easy to use. Oxford promised they can be opened with one hand and they're about right with that, just about. Undoing the zip leaves the flap to be folded back and then there's a Velcro panel in the corner that secures under this flap so it's not obstructing the vent. One word of warning though, if it's raining, close the vents because if air can get through there, then water can too. Fit adjustment comes from straps above the elbows and also at the waist and then there's a pull cord to tighten the jacket at the bottom hem. Last but not least with the exterior is pockets. There's the customary pocket at the lower back and then either four pockets on the front or two, depending on how you look at these things. Oxford call these box pockets and they have fold over Velcro closures on the top here. And then behind them are hand warmer pockets, but they can be zipped shut if you want to keep stuff other than your hands in there. Right, let's dive inside the Mondial 2. There's a removable thermal liner in there. I didn't get the weather conditions to test that, but it's the same thermal liner that goes in other Oxford jackets that I have reviewed and I've found that liner to be helpful in chilly conditions. And then behind that is the mesh liner that holds the armor pockets. You get shoulder and elbow armor included, and that meets the higher level two within the CE standard for impact protection, as well as giving extra protection over the armor that comes in more basic Oxford jackets. This armor is also softer and more comfortable to wear. There's room for a back protector insert, but you need to buy that separately. If you want to keep this jacket fully specced with the level two armor, then an insert to that standard is £29.99 as we record this, or you can get a more basic level one insert for £21.99. The label inside the jacket shows the overall CE protection level is single A, which is the most basic pass within the CE standard. In terms of pockets on the inside, you get a zipped Napoleon pocket behind the main fastener, then elasticated pockets in the main shell and also in the thermal liner. And there are two connection zips for trousers as well, one short zip and one long. Oxford make a pair of matching trousers that are also called the Mondial 2, helpfully. They cost £249.99 a pair. So if you add those to this jacket, then you're getting a complete suit with a laminated membrane for £550. In terms of sizing, the jacket comes in sizes from small up to 5XL, which translates as a range from a 38 inch chest up to 52 inches. Trousers come in waist sizes from 32 to 46. 
My thoughts on this jacket are that Oxford have picked up where they left off with the previous Mondial Advanced. This one here survived some very heavy downpours during my time wearing it, and it also kept me comfortable enough in some quite high temperatures once I'd opened the vents. It's not heavy and it's not stiff, which is an issue with some premium priced laminated jackets, and the price is definitely not crazy. The concept of kit with the membrane laminated to the outer shell is becoming more popular with riders with every passing year. People especially like it when it doesn't cost the earth. The previous model of this jacket became one of the most popular laminated jackets around, and I've seen no reason really why this won't follow on exactly where that one leaves off. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Oxford Mondial 2, but if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.